Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping back into my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. So today's video is a little different than what you're normally gonna see on my channel. This video is all about setting up and camping on the ice. So we're gonna show you guys how it's done. All right, we got the tent set up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it down and bank the snow. Uh, I know a lot of people are really gonna know this stuff, but there's some people that maybe have never camped on the ice and just gonna show the basics of it. So this adapter for the drill is one of the best things you can ever get. A lot of manufacturers, they do send them with the tent, but not all. So you can buy these separately if you want. Some people put them in at an angle. I don't always. Tight. Wind is coming this way, so we'll go on the other side, put another one. And another tip, stuff these suckers back in there, otherwise they will be banging on the side of the tent in the wind. And you're gonna wanna pull your hair up. All right, let's bank her. Next step is banking the snow around. Um, a small shovel, small stiff shovel like this is preferred because sometimes you're dealing with really crusty snow. Um, you want to make sure this is all the way out. The skirt is all the way out. Put snow against. And whatever you're doing, don't grab slush because you will freeze your tent into the ice. You're gonna probably break it getting it back out. And like that, all the way around. Fishing slow. What do you got going on for us, Ryan? Well, we were supposed to have a trout for a catch and cook, but you know, it's about a little after 10 here and I was gonna smoke a trout up for you. We don't have time to do that now. So what I have here is some beautiful side ribs from the Meat Man in Oak Burn. And we're gonna smoke them today on the ice. It's one of the nice things about camping on the ice is you can kinda do your own thing. And so all I'm doing, I got, smoking recipe is pretty straightforward for these. You know, a little bit of seasoning salt. And then a little bit of just, you know, this is a garlicky kind of salty blend. And then, my secret ingredient in all my smoke and all my barbecues, and it's frozen, that's gonna be interesting, brown sugar. And I take it, and if it's not frozen, I rub it on the meat. And just rub it in that first layer. Yeah, you gotta explain to us what you got going on here for a smoker. <laughs> it's an old toolbox that I salvaged from a garbage dump. Gave it one heck of a pressure blast with a pressure washer, cleaned it out, did a bunch of bunch of fires in there to burn out any paint that was left over. And I've been using this as a smoker now for like five years and I smoke everything in it. One of these days I'll sink a few dollars into getting a proper one, but for now this will work. So they're ready to go. Like that, and I may actually have something else to throw in there, but that'll be a surprise once it's done. And there we go. I got the chips soaking in the tent. I'll fire them on right away, and in about six hours, six to eight hours, these will be dirty. Looking forward to it. I got some snow goose breast. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever actually eaten snow goose. Really? I've never actually shot one. They're actually the best eating goose of them all. Yeah. For all the waterfowl hunting I've done, I've never, just never got a chance. I may or may not be a waterfowl guide, so. Yeah. I, I have access to a lot of different meat. <laughs> I may or may not be a waterfowl guide. BertillWaterfowl.com. There you go. You guys <laughs> want to book a Canadian waterfowl hunt? One of the best operations in Canada. Uh, Paul runs an amazing operation. It's Bertail Waterfowl. You can look it up, BertillWaterfowl.com. 
There you go. And you might even have him guiding you, so. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, yeah. I know, no kidding. Yeah, I'll fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> and I should have a little bit of fat to put on these. It would help, but just a little bit of beef fat, but I don't have that, so. Just right there. Now I'll go get the chips. The chips have been soaking, soaking long enough. Fish on. I seen that thing bite on the camera. I said, oh, definitely master. Holy macaroni. Oh, that's a nice one. That's going to be a new PB. It's stuck in a jaw jacket. Shoot. Come on. I know. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. 24, 25. Yeah. Big fish. Calm down. Maybe 23. All right, well, I was starting to think I was going to get stumped today. This is a barbless hook. Oh, didn't you need a plier? Look at that beautiful fish. Easy, easy. Bump board. It's right here. the fish give it 24 24 Just. exactly huh? yeah. is that a pb I don't no your year one on course fiend last year was bigger that was 25 wasn't it? yeah i was just sh just short of 25 cool yeah. but anyways we'll get a quick picture of it on here and uh we'll put it back nice oh. got it there you go my man all right there it is Go right back. We should actually be eating it, but that's too big. Bye bye. Awesome. Yeah. Woo. Cool. Anyway. All right. Thank you. Right on, Knuckles. Social distancing, Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs>
this right here is just a fluffy blanket. Um, I usually just stick it up around my feet and make sure my feet stay warm. And voila, sleep like a log. So, now I'm gonna answer the question that you've all probably been thinking in your heads. When you spend an extended period of time outdoors like this, or anywhere for that matter, um, the inevitable happens. You eventually have to go use the bathroom. Now, this is a bit of a crappy subject, pardon the pun, but there's a few different things you can do. <laughs> can't believe I'm talking about this right now. Um, you know, you can go squat out on the ice, you know, off by yourself and risk freezing some very important body parts. It's doable. Um, you can also take a bucket. You know, most people have a bucket along with it on the ice like this. Put a bunch of snow, put a good layer of snow in the bottom. Do your business there in the tent, in the heat. Just, you know, leave some windows open for ventilation, obviously. Go dump it somewhere. Man, I never thought I'd be talking about this stuff when I grew up. <laughs> okay, but anyways, you can be creative with that. It's, it's doable. Fish on. Of course, I wasn't recording. Nice bow. I got my GoPro going, we're good. For now, find another beauty. All right, what do we got? 24. It <laughs> could be the same fish as yesterday. All right, there you go. Look at that fish, another beautiful 24. Beautiful, we'll put them back. How big? Might make it. They got a big one on over there. Okay, I can't even properly film this because I'm cooking in the shack and can't leave my bacon, but there you go, that's a brownie. Ryan's brownie, did not get skunked. Beautiful fish, look at that, we got it in a tote. Gonna look that's after it. And what you wanna do. Yeah, so there's no rush now. That's the beautiful thing about it, we have time. I'm gonna go reset my rod. Got him on a shallow jaw jacker in two feet of water. Tip of the day, no such thing as too shallow for trout. That's right. And, uh, then we'll do some pictures and I'll decide if I'm gonna bonk them and bleed them or let them go. I think that one's gotta go in the front, yeah. Or the smoker. Smoker most likely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we've done the photos with this girl. Put up a heck of a good fight. I'm gonna let her go now. I uh, love catching trout, anything with an adipose, I love chasing. And this is just another one to add to the dozens that I've caught. So I'm right towards the camera. Sweet. Do it like that. <laughs> cool. There, there we go. go. Nice. Woo! Oh, I just hit this place. Ow. Well, that was a pretty awesome trip. Not a whole lot of fish numbers wise, but very, very quality numbers. I mean, three fish, all master anglers. You really can't ask for better than that, right, Ryan? It was a good trip, that's for sure. It's uh, it was. a bit grindy. I think we got a little hooped by the cold front that hit us the first night we were here. Slowed things down, but today kind of made up for it. That's right. More videos coming soon. See ya.